Why is my hair always so flat in the back? Oh, I'm recording. <laughs> It's Jamila. I'm Jamila. It's Jamila. It's Jamila. And <laughs> I'm here to do 20 random facts about me because I've been seeing it over the last couple months and I thought it would be fun to do because I've gotten some new subscribers. Hey, you guys. And um, I thought this would be fun for people that are new to me and people that have been rocking with me. Hey, girl, hey. And let's get right on into it because I don't want to make it super long. I got my kids and Jarvie you're playing down in the basement so if you hear them that's them and I wrote mine down because I didn't want to forget because I was like I don't want to be like mm, and mm, and so okay number one um every time I hear Queen B okay Beyonce I get the chills like I don't know what it is I love me some Beyonce I mean she's not my favorite singer but I just love her I don't know it's her energy she just has this this energy and every time I just get the goosebumps um, number two I love to binge watch a show okay it doesn't matter if it's Netflix Hulu YouTube audible movies DVDs whatever I love to binge watch and it helps me get a bunch of stuff done like if I sit down and I watch a show next thing I know it's like the next day <laughs> Or I didn't clean all my house and everything. So I love to binge watch. Number three, I am in the process of writing my own cookbook. I have been for some time. Um, I really developed my passion for cooking like between 18 and 20. Um, I used to be a CNA and a med tech and I worked at an assisted living where we had to cook for the residents. And the people that ran the facility, they would never have anything there for these people to eat. So I would literally had to pull tricks out of my hat to feed these people. And so that just inspired my love. And growing up watching my grandmother cook, loved it. So I'm in the process of doing that. Um, number four, your girl, this 6'2 mama, this one, she likes to wear high heels. Okay, yes, I said it. Let me get close. I like to wear high heels okay I don't care if I'm 6'2 all right because I'm a woman I'm a cute woman and I likes to wear high heels and I'll wear them don't care how short don't care how high if I can walk in them I'm wearing them I don't care I don't care if my husband looked like Napoleon I'm wearing them don't judge me so number five sushi I love all sushi, but what takes it to the next level for me, eel, mm, barbecued eel, so good. And I know a lot of people are like, ooh, eel, you know, but we love it. Jar Jarvis does too, like, we love the eel. It'd be so tasty. Number six, I like to munch. I'm a closet muncher. Not anything freaky like that, but I like to snack, like, I'll be full as hell and I just gotta be snacking like I need to start chewing gum or something like it's probably not a good trait to have but I'd be snacking I'd be munching so um number seven is I would love to own a farm like it's always been a dream a passion of mine to own a farm the animals I'm terrified of animals but I would do it I would love to take care of my own crops and live on the land, live off of the land, and be able to like come to a farmer's market and sell my produce and eggs. And I don't know if I would slaughter my animals because that just creeps me out. I'm just gonna buy them, but I would love to own my own farm. Let's see, number eight. I totally want my own glam squad and yogi squad. You know what I'm saying? like. I would just love to wake up in the morning, roll out of bed, have somebody beat my face, twist my hair out for me, deep condition it for me so I don't have to take care of it because <laughs> the struggle is real. And you'd be like, you know what? In the hustle and bustle of life, 
Let me get my meditation on with my yogi squad, okay? Mommy, like, I would like that. Yeah. I did. Oh. You're going to take your potty downstairs? Yeah. Okay. Janessa's in the process of potty training, and it's going. Wow. Yes. yes. Great. Okay. What's next? Number nine. I have a super strong intuition. Like, real talk. Like, if I get, and Jarvis finally, like, believes me, but if I get this feeling about something, someone, or some situation, I'm usually, usually pretty right. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, if I look at somebody and, for example, oh, this person's pregnant or somebody around them's pregnant, next thing I know somebody's pregnant you know what I mean or I will think of a person that I have not seen forever and then I'll see them or they'll friend me on Facebook or something like that and just I like I'm very intuitive it's the Pisces in me I'm like kind of psychic that third eye though <laughs> what's next number 10 following the in intuitive very intuitive I read people like books like I can tell by their body language by the way they look in how they snap their neck up they spine straight what they are thinking and how they feel and like where they're coming from like I have always been so good at this and I'm trying to think of an example that wouldn't cause frictional tension but I can't think of one but um Oh, yes. Okay, for example, one day I was at work. This is the first thing that just pops out to my head. And this guy was standing in line. I was helping somebody. The girl that I checked in people with was waiting for somebody. And I knew this guy was just like, please don't let the black chick check me in. So I finished with my patient. My coworker was still checking hers. And I said, sir, I can help you. And he just looked at me. Sir. I can help you and he just looked at me and he waited for the other girl that happened to be Caucasian to help him and I was like mm -hmm. I knew it from the jump just from his body language I mean sorry to take it to race but that is a, just what it was like whatever bye Felipe okay um number 11 I love small gestures of love like the littlest thing it could be opening a door I got this because it reminded me of you and you give give it to me I think is amazing I just love simple things like that small gestures of love gratitude kindness they just make my heart so happy I just love stuff like that um Somebody drops you a message. Hey, you ran across my mind. This reminded me of you. Or this simple little gesture. Jeanette's giving me a flower. Jarvis giving me flowers. Things like that. Or him doing little things. Like I go out of the room and I come back and the room's clean. Because he knew I just cleaned it but the kids made a mess. Little gestures like that. I really appreciate it. And cute little stuff that my mom does for me. I really just appreciate stuff like that. Let's see. What do you? Number... 12 okay you guys are gonna think I'm crazy I plan for the zombie apocalypse okay like real life like I got um my stuff set up the only thing I need to purchase is a gun okay like when them them walkers come this girl she gonna be ready and y'all gonna be like girl where you at let me find your camp because I'm gonna have some food we gonna have the fire we gonna have the cars we gonna be set and not no Rick walking dead uh, messing with Negan because I ain't playing with nobody okay I'm ready I'm, pre I'm prepared I got my food and everything on deck just got to get my pistol and my high-powered rifle <laughs> and then next let's see number 13 I love me some dumb shows like I love me a reality show maybe it's because I'm an 80s baby I was born in 86 I grew up watching real world okay stuff like that I love me some stupid shows like it was a good show 
but we just got finished binge watching um, Big Frida, the Bounce Queen on Hulu, and just his, her light and energy was just what drew me to the show. Like, anything that is about people accomplishing their dreams, you know it's got me. It's that Pisces. That Pisces. And let's see. Uh, number 14. I want dreadlocks. Like, I seriously want some dreadlocks. If Have you guys ever seen the show, um, what's it called? Shameless US version. And the pretty black girl that plays Veronica V, her dreadlocks are everything. And I think they are beautiful. And I've seen some other girls here on YouTube that have beautiful dreadlocks. And my aunt, she has the most beautiful dreadlocks. And I really want them. I don't know when I will do it. Probably after, you know, my edges come back. If they come back. I'm working on them. I'm trying to get them together. And then we'll see what happens. Because it's a long journey to get them the way that you want. And like here in Utah, it is so dry, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's so dry. Uh, number 15, I love to shake my booty. <laughs> I love to twerk, 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 twerk. Not twerk. Bounce, bounce, bounce. I just love to shake my booty. Whatever. You know what I mean? It's good exercise. It's fun. Funny thing is, that's how Jarvis and I met. Our blind date was at the club, okay? And he got me on them dance moves, okay? So, I love to dance. I love, 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 love it. And especially when you pop, 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 pop. Eh, eh, eh. I love it. What else? Um, number 16, I always have dreams ever since I was little that I'm saving the world or saving the people that I love. Like one dream that sticks out to me is like I had to save all of these people. Like they were the last people that were left to start a new earth basically. And um, it reminds me of that story about the Tower of Babel or I can't even remember how it goes, but you know how we all speak different languages and I was the only one that knew how to bring all these different people together. I could speak all their languages and I remember we were in Egypt and I had to make this all seeing eye cry, like shed a tear, like plead our case why we should be saved. And I just remember waking up crying like I was speaking in this, maybe Arabic, something, maybe Egyptian, I can't remember, it was a long time ago, and I made the eye cry, and I was able to save myself and these other people so we could start a new world. And that dream just always sticks out in my mind, and I woke up crying because it was so real, it was so intense. But still, even to this day, I always have dreams that I'm beating somebody's ass. Okay, number 17, I am obsessed, okay, with authentic Mexican food. I love it. I can't get enough. I just recently learned how to make authentic Mexican style rice by myself. I was up in there. I love it. I, tacos are life. They are everything. I can eat tacos and sushi every freaking day of my life and never get sick of it. Taco, tacos, sushi, and Indian food. That's all I need. That's it. I just love it and I love oh my gosh love my friends that make it authentically and their mothers that make it because I used to get down with some of my homegirls and we'd be oh <sighs> Mexican food is everything um number 18 I hate cats like I hate them they creep me out them freaking teeth, them freaking claws, that nasty fur, those freaking eyes, those ears, the nose, the whiskers. I hate them. Like, I hate them. I remember I had a friend in high school and I just like, you know how I told you my spidey senses be tingling and I just knew the cat was going to attack me. I ran away from that heifer and she chased me around the house. I ran to the bathroom to hid and she was swiping under the door trying to get me. I don't do cats. 
um, when I used to work at the clinic, we'd have people coming in all the time for cat bites. They'd be cat groomers and they'd be bit up by the cats. Ain't nobody got time for that. I don't mess with them, Black Panther, but I don't mess with no house cats, okay? I don't even mess with the jungle cats. I ain't trying to mess with them. Mm -mm, I'm not a cat person. Um, Number 19, I still really do want to have a V-back. Like, I don't know if we'll have any more kids. It's definitely, I mean, we're still young. It's still not set in stone if we will, if we won't. Um, but I still read some stuff online about people having two C-sections and the third time around they were able to have a V-back. It's still a hope of mine. It's still a wish of mine just so I can get that experience. Um, and I figure... Like the Beeb says, never say never. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, number 20. I, oh, I had a couple more in case the other ones weren't interesting. But number 20, I really want, we really want to build a home. Like from the ground up get our land and everything and you know how they have like those cute little home building companies and you find out where the little plan is and that's where you build we really want to do that and 2017 y'all it's our year we're gonna make some stuff pop but i guess maybe i'll even share these two other little random tidbits um i'm low-key ocd like really bad it used to be really, really bad when I still lived at home with my parents. Um, and here's another little tidbit. I didn't move out until I was 25. <laughs> um, I would be so late to work because I would leave and I'd be like, oh my God, I left the stove on. I'd have to go home and check it. And um, it would be off. Or I'd be like, oh my God, at winter time, I left the heat, the space heater on. Let me go back. And sometimes I would have left it on or, oh, I left the curling iron on and then even so much when I first moved in with Jarvis I did the same thing I would be freaking late because I'd have to keep coming back and coming back and coming back and it would drive me crazy um also my alter ego is a badass okay like that crime fighting you don't want none Pam Greer Cleopatra coming at you badass okay I like that just like if you know I wore a cat suit and I fought crime I'd be whooping ass doing it doing the damn thing but anyways you guys I don't want to make this too long but I hope this helped you get to know me a little bit more um and it was fun and thinking of random things off the top of my head to share with people maybe you think I'm crazy now but I don't know um, if you are new to my channel, I would love to have you stay all the time. So subscribe um, for more random craziness from this tall mama loving and living life. Um, and then hit the bell so when I upload, you will know. But I do do it Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And if you are one of my oldie but goodies, hey girl, hey. And I'll see you guys in the next